receive tip delivery of a 300 stroke 375 NVA 330 stroke 1 day 2 stroke 33 kV power transfer. This is part of the efforts of the federal government and TCN at large in improving power delivery to the populace, to the community around this environment. Station Oshobo Transmission Company, the Oshobo Subregion Arm of it, received the delivery of a 300 stroke 375 NVA 330 stroke 1 day 2 stroke 33 kV power transfer. This is part of the efforts of the federal government and TCN at large in improving power delivery to the populace, to the community around this environment. The transformer in question alone, when completed, would have increased the wheeling capacity of this station by more than 40%. I mean to be specific, some 43 to 54.5 percent right, right. available capacity will be delivered by this station once this project is done. The project is presently being handled by JSPDI, and the make of the transformer is JSHP. This is a milestone in achieving that as far as this environment is concerned. Remember, we are talking from Oshun State. This is Oshogun, the state capital, and all the cities surrounding Oshogun and the neighboring states will benefit tremendously from the impact of the transformer that has just landed. So we are hopeful that the impact of this transformer is going to really help in dealing with the so-called unnecessary uh, load shedding in the town, provided our sister company will be willing to take what we have available for them. Today we are taking the delivery of So if you listen carefully to what the gentleman who was being interviewed said, um, that was just the arrival of uh, a 350 stroke, 335 kVA uh, power transformer from Nigeria's collaboration with um, Siemens Energy Corporation. So basically, or simply put, Nigeria generates about 12 gigawatt of electricity. Our Genkos generate 12 gigawatt of electricity. We are able to transmit only 7 gigawatt from the national grid, from the generating arm of our power sector. We are able to transmit only 7 gigawatt to the power stations. But then we are only able to distribute 5 gigawatt to consumers. So we have 12 gigawatt of electricity being generated, 7 gigawatt being transmitted from the grid and just five being distributed to, cost, to, to the consumers. So where does these transformers come in? These transformers come in in the distribution. So they are being loaded at the um, power houses or the power stations so that more power can be distributed to potential or to the final consumers. So this is why Nigeria struck the deal it did with Siemens in order for it to bring these huge um, power transformers so that they will be an improved supply of electricity. So it is not just enough for the country to keep stepping up its power generation, which is currently at 12 gigawatt, but we really need to put a lot of effort into distributing this power to you know the people who need it. would interest you to know that Nigeria and Siemens signed a deal worth 16 billion dollars. Are you listening? 16 billion dollars it is going to take nigeria 16 billion dollars to take its power generation and distribution from where it is to where it ought to be so there are about three phases of um, power generation that the siemens group will help us attain so the first phase is they will help us you know reach 7000 megawatts of electricity in the first phase then the second phase they would help us attain 11,000 megawatt megawatt of electricity and 25,000 megawatt of electricity is the target for the third phase so there are three phases we have the first phase which we have already attained seven um seven megawatts of electricity distribution by the second phase next year 
we are supposed to have reached 11,000 megawatt of electricity distribution. And by the year 2025, we should have reached 25,000 megawatt of electricity. It is going to take us $16 billion to take electricity from where it is to 25,000 megawatt. Now pay attention. If that money was embezzled and distributed among the elites, you know what that's going to happen? The money would quickly circulate around the economy and will enter your pocket, enter my pocket. We'll be seeing money because our elite will be splashing. Abuja will be seeing dollars on the floor. We'll be seeing dollars all over Lagos State. There's going to be money, um, a lot of liquid money, you know, just streaming down the whole country. And people say, Jai, oh boy, money deal, money deal. But if you hold back that $16 billion, and put it in generating power, you are not going to see money running around as it used to. But in the long run, you would live a better life than you would if that money were being embezzled and distributed and being shared around everybody. So why do I always like to draw our attention to how money is being spent? Because when we see that, oh, the president borrowed this amount of money, and where is the money, where is it is? It is going to take us until 2025 for us to begin to see the power generation reach 25,000 megawatts. It's not going to happen this year, nor is it going to happen next year. But the foundations have been laid and work has begun. Building is ongoing. When power generation, when this whole Nigeria Siemens is completed and we've been able to achieve what we want, we're going to save Nigeria one billion dollars on an annual basis in 16 years would have made back the money we are currently spending this one is money from the all the poor infrastructure and excesses involved in running power the way it's being run now we'll save we'll get it back in 16 years leave that one aside the amount of money nigeria spends on petrol we currently spend, we currently um, consume about 17 million liters of petrol every single day. And a very good percentage of that is being used to fill the generators, used to run firms, used to run industries, used to run our homes, used to run schools, etc. If we are able to, you know, mop up all the rubbish in our power sector, all those excess money being spent on petrol will be taken away. And the money will be reinvested into the economy. See, there's a whole lot. There's a whole lot we stand to gain if things are being done the right way. And when things are being done the right way, in the beginning, you will not see money. In the beginning, you will not see it. When foundations are being laid, when foundations are being dug, things go deeper. You go deeper. It gets dirtier. It gets more messy. But at the end of the day, you begin to see you know, the framework of a mighty edifice beginning to show forth. You begin to see the skeletal structure of the building, and then one day you see a beautiful edifice, you know, pro uh, producing money or, or, or just adding to the landscape or to the arch architectural design of the whole place. But it began by going deep, by being messy, by scattering things. Nigeria is rebuilding. Our power sector is, you know, they are undergoing some amazing transformation. Work is going on there. Every day, people are working to see how to better the current power generation, power supply, and power distribution of our dear country, Nigeria. So, a big one to our president, a big one to all the guys working with him, to those who you know drafted all this out, to the guys implementing this. The Lord will bless you and you know will mightily reward you. And a big kudos to the Oshun State Government. And I believe that the Oshun people right now are you know are enjoying the fruit. I don't know if it has been installed yet because, you know, it takes time to install these massive things and to now begin to operate them at optimum capacity. But then I believe that you guys are going to enjoy the, you know, the just um, installed power transformer. <clears throat> so please, this is all for today on this particular topic. Please, I'd like you to like, share, subscribe. Like I often say, pray for our country, pray for our president, pray for our leaders, pray for our armed forces. And remain blessed. Today of October year 2022.
That's right, that's right. That's right. So we are hopeful that the impact of this transformer is going to really help in dealing with the so-called unnecessary uh, load shedding in the town. Yeah. Provided our sister company will be willing to take what we have for them. Okay. Okay.